So the lambs are all pretty much now eating solid food. So I'm gonna have to bring an extra trough in because they're all getting bigger. And the mothers who are producing milk are need, gonna need the headspace to get their proportion of food. So lots of tussles between lambs and yos. Here's all yos. And there's mostly lambs. And look, milk thieving going on. Everybody's eating. Even big ears, that was big ears sliding under. That's big ears right there. There's big ears. Oh, be nice. You be nice, Ink. And then there are those lambs that don't have too much interest in eating. And they're more interested in having a conversation with Pepper. Or with the gate hook. Isn't that right? Yes. is waiting for me to tell her to go. Okay, go on. Come on. Come on. Come back here. Good girl. Good girl. Get him going. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. little bit and her two lambs. Go on. Come on. Go on. You have to move your butt now a little bit. There we go. My gate steak. Very, you know, professional gate system here is all I can say. They're all hooked together like that. And there we go. See, the gate's closed. Goodness me, everybody's fed. A lot of them head over for the water over there now. Or the mineral bucket. That's Ebony eating at the mineral bucket. Isn't that right, Ebony? You gotta stop putting your head through the fence. Eat the mineral bucket instead. And the daffodils in the woods. The rotation at the mineral bucket. She was one of the years that lambed early. She
you can see her lambs are huge. She's cross with Inca. <laughs> Chasing her. And then it's the walk out into the field again. To graze on the slopes of the great oak tree. <laughs> 